What's up guys, so today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can use an iPhone, an iPad mini, an iPad Air, or even an iPad Pro as a monitor with virtually any camera, so long as it can output a video signal via HDMI or SDI. And this is all being done using this Axun Simo Pro. And I first saw this product back at NAB of 2023, and I fell in love with it. Now for full transparency, I actually reached out to Axun and asked them if they would be kind enough to give me early access to test this out. And that's what I've been doing. I've been testing this out now for several months and I've been loving it. And I wanna share with you guys all of the cool things that you can do with this product because there's more things that you can do than just monitor your video signal. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quick overview. So I'm gonna disconnect everything so you can see how easy it is to set up. Now, I have this rigged up to my Sony FX6 and I am using the Condor Blue Cage which allows me to quickly have this accessory here on the side. This kind of resembles a video transmitter, a wireless video transmitter, even though this doesn't send the video signal wirelessly. And it's got a very rugged design. And I like the construction, it's very well built. Now, a quick overview of the ports. You have an HDMI input, also SDI, and it also has an SDI pass-through. So it's got an out, so if you wanna connect it to another external monitor, or if you're running a wireless transmitter like a Teradek unit, this will send that signal out. And then you can power this two ways. You can use a Sony NPF battery, or you can also do a two pin Limo, which is actually what I'm using right now. Now, towards the top, we have our USB-C ports. Now, the way this works is it takes that video signal from your camera and it converts it over so that you can use it with your iOS devices. So that one located towards the bottom, this one here, this USB-C port, is the one that we can use to connect it to our iPad. Now, not only does it send that video, but it also charges whatever device you have connected. So if you're using your iPhone or an iPad, you don't have to worry about it draining. The one towards the top sends a five volt output. So let's say you have a wireless follow focus or if you're using another device, it's actually cool that you can use this five volt USB-C to charge something else. Now located on basically all sides, you can see that you have quarter 20 mounting points and they're anti-twist, which is great. So again, they're located everywhere. Now what I've done is connected this Condor Blue Mini NATO rail so that I can easily attach it to my FX6. So Condor Blue has this, also this side mount accessory and all I have to do is just slide this into place right here and then I can just lock this and now this is not gonna go anywhere. And I can also even move this around and adjust it so it doesn't get in the way when I'm filming handheld. And alternatively, they also sell cages for iPad and you can mount the CMO Pro module on the back, which is very convenient. So now that I have everything set up, I'm gonna demo this using an iPad Air fourth generation. Now, what really intrigued me about the CMO Pro is the fact that you can use iOS devices because as most of you know, iOS devices have amongst the best displays out in the market because they are color calibrated. But more importantly, what makes this really unique is the fact that this is not just a display, this is also a communication device. And this really extends the feature set of this whole entire setup here, which we'll go over more in a second. Now, as a monitor, this has all of the features that you would expect to have from an external display. For example, you have things like peaking, false color, zebras, you can add your own LUT, you can invert the image. There's so many things that you can do with this. And what I really like is that you can also customize this depending on your usage. For example, if I don't really use zebras, I can go here to add delete and I can, for example, check zebras and now it's not no longer in the menu system. I can take off grids, distort, markers, RGB, histogram. You can see as I start checking these off, my menu system starts to shrink to really utilize this the way I like to shoot. But aside from having virtually every monitoring tool that you could imagine, you could really fine tune just about everything. And I'll give you guys an example. If you're a first AC, you set your image to black and white. What I like to do is now go to my sharpen and I set this to about 80%. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to about 80%, 73 is fine. Then I go to my peaking and I set that to about 20, 30%. Now if I'm pulling focus, I can nail this perfectly. Now, as I mentioned, this is not just another tool to monitor your video feed. It's more than that because it's connected to a communication device. And because this device has access to apps, it's connected to the web, you can truly unlock its feature set. For example, if I hit record here, I am recording the video feed that is being sent to the iPad. 
I can also take a picture. I can upload this picture to social media immediately. I can send this video feed to the producer. I can go live if I want to. So if I want to take the video feed right now and go on Facebook, YouTube Live, or other services, I can quickly do that here. But where it starts to really get fun is the third party support. So Axun has partnered with other companies to allow the video feed to really maximize its feature set. So I'm going to demo something that I think is really, really cool. Now this is the Chroma Link app and it works with lights like the Orion 300 from ProLight that I'm using. And this is because manufacturers like ProLight are using the SDK to be able to communicate with their lights. Now this application is free just like the Axon Simo. You don't have to pay for it. Now what's really cool about this application is that it gets the video feed and you can see we are live. And this little box here, if you notice the light is flickering. The reason why it's flickering is because it's sampling the colors, the intensity of this box, and it's outputting, sending that signal to the light. So you'll notice here when I change the box and I move it to this red ghost over here, my light turns red. If I move it over to Pac-Man over here, my light turns yellow. So if I go back to blue, the light goes blue. Now, why is this important? Well, this is excellent for virtual production because let's say, for example, we're doing a scene right now where I'm driving and let's say we see some headlights coming on. Oh man, I'm being blinded in here. That is the realism that we're getting because we have this feed sending to the Axon SEMA Pro that is sending it to the light and now this virtual production feels more real. So to kind of go back to what I said at the very beginning of the video, I got really excited about this product because this really takes what you may already have and most filmmakers have an iPhone or even an iPad just laying around and it extends the camera capabilities because it gives it more than just a monitor. When you really think about like, for example, a small HD Atomos monitor and what it can do and even like the more expensive small HD monitors that cost thousands of dollars, having this and an iPad is way cheaper but yet you're getting way more functionality and I think this is why I really like the Axun Simo Pro and I would highly recommend it. My name is Armando. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.